making yet another weird looking ball. This time I failed a little bit more. I already had the rough blank from previous bowl making, so this time I just added a few modifications to the process. First, I decided to remove the pith area to prevent future cracking and semi flat in the back. Uh, usually, the professionals use an axe for this process, but I decided to use my scrap plane. The second difference is that I removed the bark before starting the carving. Not strictly necessary, but should reduce layout errors I made uh, with the first bowl. For this I used my draw knife, and this was one of the most satisfying stages in the process. Just because the bark was so soft and was peeling almost like butter. And yet another difference is with layout. Instead of making just the bowl shape all around, uh, even though it's weird, uh, I decided to make a tiny handles <laughs> on three sides. And not really functional, but funny looking. After deciding the layout, time to do some chopping with my ads. The good thing of using hand tools is that it's relatively quiet. Even the current chopping operation is somewhat uh, low volume. And I'm not going to say I was doing this around midnight when others were almost sleeping. Well, to be honest, I did stop at midnight and continued in the morning just to be safe. When everything goes well, ads and is quite fun, uh, with a mallet or especially without a mallet. I keep complaining about my ads that it's too light to use without a mallet, but it's still enjoyable. I actually may need to resharpen it soon as it probably got dull over many uses, but I was surprised that it kept edge for this long. After getting ready to close the bottom, <laughs> I decided to do a bit more accurate cleanup with a gouge. Well, it was a sad moment. I still continued as nothing gonna stop a bit of epoxy to fix this problem later, but a bit of disappointment. This is the final stages of roughing the bowl. There were not too much material left, so axing didn't take too long. I still not always know what I'm doing and keeping my hands as far away as possible, yet it's still a relatively precise process. Now switching to actually precise way, a draw knife. This bowl was quite small and easier to secure in my vise, so the process was quite smooth. Compared to my other bowl that I made recently, this one has these handles that require a bit of attention in making, but don't really want to have them. For those who joined my first life, they saw that it's quite a tedious process, as you really need to be careful not to take too much material, yet still need to take material here, there, here, there, so it's kind of taking uh, quite a bit of time. But it's quite nice in the end. Uh, well, you can hold it this way. <laughs> you can just hold this way. Anyway, so this is... I don't even know what the heck is this. Could be some bowl for... I don't know, for apples, for fruits. Anyway, this is so much interesting. You're doing something and then figure out what the heck you did. What did the fox say? <laughs>